Hello and welcome to Busy Healing, episode number two, Intention Setting. My name is Thomas, and intention setting is not as difficult as it sounds. Obviously, the easiest way is to manifest positively, always manifest as if it already happened, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. It's also good not to try to manifest money, because money is not a spiritual currency, but you could manifest abundance, for instance. And um, it's quite common for a lot of people, for instance, to um, manifest, you know, health. And what they can do or do sometimes is that they actually charge their food, their water and their, their food regularly. And it can be done with Reiki. And one other ways of, way of doing this would be to charge water. And I will show you in this video one way of charging water that is quite special. Um, and another thing that I um, will talk about then is once the water is charged, why not bottle it up and then only drink that? For instance, what I did then is um, come up with intentions that I find important, uh, create little labels, and they will be on the bottle now. So I have some here, charged with love and intention, would be one of them. The other one would be charged with trust and inner peace. And then the other one that I have here is charged with divine sight and eternal sunshine. And you could basically charge it with whatever it is you feel is right. And I'm going to show you now how uh, important it is to do this with the intention to give it to, to give it your all in a way. So what I have here now is two bowls. One is a Tibetan singing bowl, the small one, and here a, a, a frosted crystal singing bowl. And you could put water in either one and then charge it there. So if you use the small one, once it's charged, you would put it then into the bottle. It's obviously much more convenient to have a, a larger bowl and put the water in there. And um, I wanted to show you this, how this, how the water will be charged. Just once it's in there, your intention is already set. Remember the intentions that we have here in writing. You know, you, you use them as a mantra, or uh, you don't have to say them out loud, but use them in your head. And then you would play when the water is in, and it sounds like this. vibration is quite important then you know and this would be the same here then you would charge the water in there so let's put some water in to the big one It has to be water, bottled water, not tap water. <laughs> Almost there. And now I need you to come over here. Now this bowl is part of a seven bowl set called a chakra set. And um, this is the root chakra bowl, which is the note of C that corresponds to the, to the chakra. And it makes sense if you want to um, do intention and set intentions, and especially when you want to charge water, to uh, start this and do this with a C bowl, because this is about crowning. And since the root chakra is all about crowning, it makes sense to use the uh, appropriate bowl. Um, so that's one way of doing it. How you would then charge it is, I tap it always three times just to you know, get the intention right, and then charge it. And I know the microphone picks this up a bit, but if you can come closer, I try to, to play it sort of softly, because I wanted to show you how the water actually vibrates inside it. You should see this after a while. vibrates. That's just one more way of um, making sure that you understand that it is charged. Now, the um, chakra balls, uh, any chakra balls are quite expensive and they're really for more, let's just say, advanced uh, people that know how to manifest and do all sorts of things. You, you wouldn't just want to buy one and not do, know what to do with it. Um, so what you can do, let's just say you have no 
musical bowl, no chakra bowl, and you could just have a, a huge um, bowl, you know, that you usually use for making salad or whatever. You know, what you could do is you could use a regular bowl, put some water in, and then you um, charge it with your hands using the intentions, or you could get one of those tiny uh, wow wow pipes. Um, I would recommend that this is in the note of C, and then what you do is you charge it this way. And because they're called Vava, because they have a little hole here, which does this. It's still the same note. But it gives it some movement. So that's what you could do, is to do this. And this is just an example. It is important to do this right because these bowls here are very fragile and they can actually shatter under their own sound vibration, so to speak. And since this is also creating vibrations, it is important to keep some distance, play this gentle and gently, which is actually part of everything, obviously. It makes sense if you charge anything that you drink, you have to charge it gently. And then what you would do, you would, you would get um, bottles that you um, uh, source well, you know, bottles that you sort of reuse, and then put them in there, fill them with water, dry them, put a label on, and then uh, have them. Or you could now just um, sprinkle this over your food. You could use this for your animals to drink. You could use this, uh, you know, for, for washing uh, clothes or yourself, and, or just for drinking it yourself. So whatever you use it for um, is the intention the intention that is now in the water is that it is charged with love as, as intention. So you give all these intentions to whoever is consuming it. Right? So that's all we have time for today. See you next time.